Red makes some fantastic first party accessories for the Red Komodo. Uh, the Red Komodo wing grip, I have one of these attached to my Komodo at basically all times. Using a couple of these almost eliminates the need for a cage and gives you lots of mounting point options. There's also this guy, the Red Komodo outrigger handle, which I figure that most people that have this camera have bought. Uh, it is fantastic. It's like a really good feeling handle. The record button has some nice texture around it so you always know that you're gonna hit it. It's got like a little bit of resistance and it's got a click to it. The only thing about this is it's damn heavy. So like if I'm running around with the Komodo and just want a light package, I'll just throw the one of these on because it's so light compared to this actually very heavy handle. But the red Komodo accessory that I am least happy with purchasing is this guy, the Komodo link adapter. It works, it does exactly what it's supposed to do, but I bought this like a lot of people did thinking that, oh, this will be like a backup for the SDI port or I will run video out of this instead of the SDI port. However, I find that I don't use it. This is not a substitute for a monitor. A monitor is a much better solution. And then if you're using the remote, like it's easy enough to run it wirelessly without using the Komodo link adapter. I think the only time that you actually need to have one of these is if you've got your camera on a crane or something and you need wired control for it, you don't want to screw around with wireless. Otherwise, I'd say don't buy this adapter. If you're looking at getting an accessory for your Komodo, uh, it'd be much better to get a monitor instead, especially if you're looking at using that to replace a monitor. It's just not the same as having a proper monitor to see your image. And then another thing that you should probably get for your Red Komodo is some kind of battery plate. Now, this is not a Red approved battery plate. This is the Tilta Simple battery plate. Uh, this was cheap though. This was around a hundred bucks and it's a great way to get a, a few extra power ports and a way to get V-mount batteries onto your camera. And then a battery I'd like to gush about is this small rig V-mount 99 watt hour battery. It's just a nice sleek form factor. It's got a nice screen on it so you can see the power draw, fast charging through USB. This has just been a fantastic battery. Too bad V-mount batteries can turn into grenades. So with the first party red accessories, I think you've got rigging covered. I've had this camera for a long time now and all I've needed are the wing grips and the outrigger handle. For the most part, that's all I end up using. There's enough mounting points on the camera. Oh, wait, wait, there is one other thing. This guy, just a little $10 small rig NATO rail for the top of the camera. This actually also will sit on top of the outrig handle, just giving you a NATO rail for the top there. And that, has been extremely handy to just like slap on a top handle can easily you know put a monitor there as well i have a hold on a second so i have a small rig cage for the rig moto i never use it i find that the fit is just like a little bit off with where it screws into the side of the camera but also it doesn't allow you to use things like the outrigger handle or the wing grips or the Komodo link adapter because this top rail ends up covering the port on the camera. Now you can remove this top rail, but then the cage just ends up feeling flimsy. And at that point, I would rather just have the wing grips on the side for a grip that you can also mount things to. Um, yeah, I've barely used this cage. If you want this cage for me, let me know. There's a chance that I might just send it to you. And then I guess my last regret for this camera is when I bought this camera, I bought a couple of shape batteries to go along with it. And these batteries are not red approved, which is fine that they don't show the battery life in the camera, but the biggest problem with them is that they won't charge from the camera, they won't hot swap, and uh, they'll just die out of nowhere. Even if it's showing that there's like 25, 30% on the battery, they'll just die out of nowhere. I had so many power issues with these batteries and the camera just cutting out. So don't buy non red approved batteries that just go in the camera. I'm totally fine with this not being red approved. I've never had a, a V-mount battery actually die in the back of the camera, but like the Canon style batteries that actually go on the back of the camera, uh, get red approved ones. I generally use the Redvolt batteries and they've been fantastic. All right, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to do more videos about cameras. If you wanted to see anything specific about any of these cameras, write me a comment down below and I'll get after it for you. Have a good one.